Hello everybody and welcome to this video and this video is going to be a little bit different it's gonna be like combat squats tutorial but where I'm going to show all the things I do in it in order to get the perfect squad so before I start the video I want to say huge thanks to my.com that hooked me up with some battle points but now let's start with our video in order to start with combat squads, you need soldiers. And how do you get soldiers? Well, you have two ways. One way is to finish both of the continents in PvE and in PvP. For example, the both right continents in PvE and PvP gave me one white soldier. White soldier will give you 3% to successfully finish the mission that you are sending this soldier to. So yes, it's the basic and it's the worst soldier, but at least it's free when you finish both of the continents in PvE and PvP. When I mean the continents, they have to be the same if it's Africa, so Africa in PvP and PvE will give you a white soldier. So if you finish all the missions in all the continents in Atlas of War missions, you will be able to get 12% chance to succeed the mission. But now let me show you the second way you can get soldiers, even better ones, but it will cost you some battle points. So in order to have a soldier to recruit, you have to level up your HQ, at least to level 2. Now because I've only upgraded it, I won't have any new soldiers available, so you would just have to wait 10 hours or just refresh it for 100 battle points. But now let me improve my headquarters to the maximum level and you can see that for example on the 5th level you can have 4 maximum amount of soldiers I can have, 2 soldiers available for hire every time and 5 missions available. And at the last level you will have 6 maximum amount of soldiers you can have, 4 soldiers available for hire and 7 missions available. Now all of this upgrading from rank 0 to rank 7 will cost you about 3000 battle points. But now I don't want to waste time so let's go straight into the headquarters and refresh for 100 battle points and see the soldiers that we are going to get. I'm not going to hire any soldier that is white card, I'm going to hire soldiers that are orange or black card or red card, those really worth it. Those that are white, they are not even worth it, although they are the most cheap ones. So for example, Azimuth is not such a good card because it's white and the only bonus that it gives is 3% to mission success, so it's not that good. Let's refresh it again for 100 battle points. Who are we going to get? Okay, we see two guys with the same skin, we see Tanaka with 5% bonus to mission success chance and with full squad type bonus 20% to mission success chance and unique squad bonus crown vest for 12 hours. Hmm, that's kinda nice, let's hire him up for 200 battle points. I will need to collect 4 of those in order to make a full squad. So we have the sniper here as well, that is called Lee from the same squad Benzai, so let's hire him up as well for 200 battle points and all the other guys are not so important because they are simply white cards, so let's refresh it again so let's see if those guys have some special abilities or they are white cards as well seems like they are all white cards so I don't really see any use of them so let's refresh it again we see another guy with the skin but still those guys are again so all yeah, let's white refresh card. again for 100 battle points and see if we can get some other people so we see another skin here so those guys on the left are bad this thermit guy is also bad and we have here from squad iceberg he gives 10% to mission success and 20% to mission success with full squad and weapon camo crate so let's hire him up for 500 battle points. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of battle points. So yeah, let me just recheck that everybody else are white carded and not special cards. 
so this scorpion guy is white carded and the one on the left is also white carded so let's refresh it again so we see one girl here girl skin Nashira with 10% to mission success 20% to mission success chance with full squad and 10 battle points unique squad bonus I don't know if I can if I should hire her for 500 battle points I think I'm going to do it so this guy is white Oh, we have one more guy from Benzai squad, so let's hire him up for 100%. He's the Rifleman, so we have the Sniper, Medic and Rifleman, so let's hire this guy up. And now let's refresh it again and see if we can get the last guy from Benzai squad. So those guys are white cards, so they are not so interesting for me. Let's refresh it again. Do we see somebody special here? I don't see anybody special. I'm just checking that they are all white carded. Yes, they are. Let's refresh it again. And we see one guy with the nano suit on the right side. So let's check him up. Maybe something special. Yes, he's special. He's from Atom Squad. And he gives 10% bonus to mission success, 20% with full squad, and unique squad bonus 3 days of VIP booster. Mm, will I hire him? Yeah, I think I will do it because it's really worth it But I don't know if I'll have enough spots for more soldiers So let's see if I really should hire him up. So first off, let's throw Johnny so I'll have one more spot here and Let's see if I'm the max level. Yes, I'm the max level so I can't get more spots and well I want this Benzai squad and I want this Nashira I want to have two squads but I don't have enough spots here hmm what should I do will I hire this guy up hmm I really don't have any idea what should I do here now I know I'll just refresh it because I don't have enough spots so all the guys I see here our normal guys so let's refresh it again oh we see two women skins now from squad harpy oh this is interesting because they their special bonus is three days of vip booster so if i'm going to hire those two women from harpy squad i'll have to discard my both red cards that i've hired for 1000 battle points together oh that's hard choice very hard choice but I think I'm going to do it because I really want this three days VIP booster so it's really worth it so I took them both and now I don't have any spots so I'll have to discard one of the red cards now and maybe get the full squad of Benzai so let's discard Nashira because I don't really need battle points and let's see if I have to discard this one not yet I don't want to discard him yet so we refreshed again and I don't see anybody who is with a special skin so let me just check that they are all white yes they are so we have one guy a ranger from iceberg squad he's the engineer but I don't have enough spots I want the harpy squad and the benzai squad I don't want this Iceberg squad, you know this so we see here a guy atom also from atom squad They are not the same squad although they are the same color so He won't be very good for me mm, But still let me check Something up Let's see if we can get atom. No, he's not suitable for me. So those guys are again white carded everybody of them. I'm just checking it Yes, they are all white carded. So let's refresh it again. We see a guy with a special skin. He's also white carded Those guys also white carded. This is also so let's refresh it again for 100 battle points And we see a guy with a special skin another skin here, but he's also white carded so Let's refresh it again. We have a guy with another special skin, but he's also white card, so let's skip it again. And we see Toreld from Iceberg Squad, 
We have one guy from Iceberg Squad and it's the third guy we already found. But I didn't take the previous guy so I don't really think it will be worth for me taking him up for my team. So let's just keep it up. So no, I'm not going to hire him up because he's not for my both squads from the Harpy and Benzai squad. So let's continue, search one of those players. Those are all white carded, those are all white carded as well. Those are all white carded as well. And again we see everybody with white cards. And now we see a guy from Atom Squad. And... Well... I don't know. He's the fourth guy or the third guy. I don't really remember, but I can't take him. W wait one second. Do we have there a rifleman from the Benze Squad? No. It's from Alpha Squad. He gives us two battle points. If I'm not mistaken with my sighting, two battle points for unique squad bonus. Well, I don't really need him because he's not from Benzai squad and not from Harpy squad, so no, I'm not going to take him to my team. So let's refresh it again and see maybe we can get somebody from Benzai squad here. And uh, no, nobody here. Let's refresh it again. Again, everybody with white cards. They don't have any special ability, although they have skins. This is strange though. Oh, okay, we have one woman here. She's from Flash Squad. Oh, I thought she's from the woman squad there, from Harpy. And we have a guy there, Wolf. Oh, this guy gives 20% to mission success chance and 20% to mission success chance with full squad. And Combat Gear Crate. He's for 700 and 50 battle points wow I think I should take this guy I think I should really take this guy although he costs like he costs like 750 battle points I think he will be worth it in the missions so let's just hire him up 750 battle points and let's uh, discard this Ing Ingleaf guy because I don't really need him. Oh, and who do I see here? The engineer of Benzai squad. Finally, let's hire him up for 200 battle points. Hooray! So finally, I have the full Benzai squad. And we can send them to missions. And I'm going to show you now how we do it. So, as I've upgraded my headquarters for the max level, I have a lot of missions to choose from. And every mission gives other items. For example, one mission gives only the Atlas of War armor, other mission gives some kind of guns, other mission will give armor and guns, other mission will give only skins of weapons. So I really need to think about the mission that I'm going to send my squad to. So let's see, maybe this mission for the... Uh, let's see, no, maybe for express delivery for four hours. Um, let's see, we have Atlas Tactical X here. No, what do we have here? We have here Atlas WX86. Oh, this mission. This mission has Atlas Peg 7 permanent. It's for 15 hours. So let's send our squad there and we get 40% mission success chance. So let's begin the mission. And let's skip it for 200 battle points. And let's see if we're gonna get something. Oh, look, we got Atlas Gloves permanent. Wow, nice. And we also got the special squad reward, the Crown Vest. So that's very, very good. So basically every time my Benzai squad finishes a mission successfully, I'm going to get 12 hours of Crown Vest. And that's very, very good because I s can send them to a two hours mission and let's speed it up oh sadly they didn't they didn't appear to win something with the 40% chance but let's start the mission again and let's speed it up again oh so now I got the SX41 for one hour and again I got the crown vest so every time they finish successfully the mission I'm going to get the crown vest and that's just perfect news so let's send them again to this mission. Let's see if we can take another guy. 
Okay, he was the medic, so... Okay, so yeah. Let's see. No, they're going to get only 35% chance. So now they're going to get 40% chance. So let's send them for the 2 hours mission. Maybe they're going to get something. I don't know. Uh, but now I need one more spot for my Atlas of War. So I finished all the PvP regions and in PvE region I have one more mission with Anubis Insane so let's skip it and let's go back let's refresh the page and see if we got one more white card or basically one more spot. Yes, we got one more spot for our uh, Atlas of War combat squads so as more regions you finish from both sides PvP and PvE you get more spots but now let's try to see if we can get somebody from the Harpy squad uh, all those guys are white carded all those guys are also white carded so I'm not checking them I'm just refreshing it and I have a guy here from squad alpha I don't really need squad alpha so I'm going to refresh it again uh, who do I see here another guy from squad alpha I don't need him all those guys are white carded and all those guys are white carded as well so I don't need them as well I'm just rechecking it because they all have different skins and yeah I don't need them and I see a guy here Zinc from Atom Squad that will give us three days of VIP booster but it's not Harpy Squad I need the Harpy Squad what is wrong with it so those are also white carded and let's see those are also white carded and let's skip it again for 100 battle points and we got one guy here again from Atom Squad but I can't hire him up because I don't have 500 battle points so I basically wasted about 10,500 battle points on combat squads and I only got one squad and that squad that I've collected wasn't rare so much it was a common squad the rare are the red and the black cards so sadly I can't hire him up I would try to get the atom squad next but I don't have enough battle points so by what you saw now what do you think about the combat squads? I wasted more than $200 worth of battle points and I got one good squad. It's not even good because it's giving 40% mission success chance, it's not even 50%. But the rewards are really really worth it because I would get crown vest every time they finish a mission successfully. For example I can send them for 2 hours mission and get a crown vest for 12 hours and that's just perfect but I want to know your opinion about the combat squads did you start it did you get yourself a good squad what do you think after watching this video make sure to write me in the comments below and of course if you want me to get the perfect squad to make a video about the perfect squad where I'm going to spend a lot a lot of battle points more Make sure to smash that like button if this video will get a lot of likes and a lot of views. My.com will maybe, I'm not guaranteeing it to you, but maybe will give me more battle points to get the perfect squad and to make more videos about it for you guys. So basically that's it for this video. I know the video was long, but I hope it wasn't boring. I hope you enjoyed watching me spending 10,000 battle points on the combat squads. So as always, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in my next videos. Bye bye!